Being a professional mathematician, Louise Orpin tells us about the Operational Research Society. My name's Louise Orpin. I'm the Education Officer at the Operational Research Society. Um, the Operational Research Society is the professional membership body of the UK operational research community. The Society's objectives are to advance knowledge and interest in operational research and to advance education in operational research. The term operational research appears to have been used for the first time in 1938 as a descriptive term for the use of scientists to assess at first hand military situations. The OR Society was founded some 10 years later, in 1948. Today, operational research is used by a wide range of industries and sectors to help solve complex problems and improve decision-making. The Operational Research Society caters to its members working across all of these areas. The Society provides training, conferences, publications and information to those working in operational research. The Society also promotes operational research in schools and businesses and as a career. The Society provides an extensive training programme, ranging from introduction to OR to advanced analytical techniques such as simulation and softer skills such as facilitation skills. We publish seven international journals that disseminate the latest developments in operational research and covers all aspects of OR, including specific topics such as health systems, knowledge management and information systems. National, international and specialist conferences are organised by the Society. This includes an annual conference in September and a young OR conference held every other year that is intended for those with up to 10 years experience in operational research. The Society supports many special interest groups which provide a focal point where members with a common interest can meet and exchange ideas and experience. The Society also supports a number of regional societies which enable members to network with other operational researchers in their area. There are about 2,500 members and it is about a 50-50 split of academics and practitioners. We actively encourage students to become members to help them with their studies. As members, they have full access to all our resources. Anyone with an interest in operational research can join the Society. There are several membership categories, including individual, student, retired and reciprocal. Any member of the Society can also apply for accreditation. This certifies your achievements in your job and allows you to gain letters to go after your name. There are four grades of accreditation, Candidate Associate, Associate, Associate Fellow and Fellow. Anyone applying for accreditation has the benefit of a mentor who is usually a Fellow themselves. This can be particularly useful to those just starting out in their career. Many of the benefits of being a member have already been discussed, such as publications, regional societies and special interest groups, conferences and training. The most important benefits are the networking opportunities, being able to keep up to date with developments in, in operational research, developing skills to advance your career and information about job vacancies. This recording was created for the project Being a Professional Mathematician supported by the MSOR Network, the Institute of Mathematics and its Applications, and the Universities of Greenwich and Birmingham, as part of the National HE STEM programme. It is released under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike licence.